Yo, game's about to come on really, really soon. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Uh, let's breeze through. Um, let me get see. Let me get my player pool pulled up here. Um, okay. Damn, I got a lot of players in there. Definitely got a lot of players now, but I'm not. I just got them in there. I'm not. Mm -mm. All right. Colorado Rockies at uh uh Washington Nationals. Um, I don't know who's gonna win this game. Um, got an over under nine and a half. Hitch runs and RBIs are in play, but unfortunately, I couldn't nail anything down. Uh, actually, I was looking a little bit more on the uh on the Rocky side. Um, I really, really was looking at uh, and he's due. Uh, Ryan McMahon here. Um, Nolan Jones is another guy. Gritchick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Washington Nationals, those bats are in play as well. Uh, but I just don't know. I'll tell you one thing. Um, Jake Irvin, pitches his worst versus lefties. And then you got, uh, I didn't even add any. Oh, you know what? I might have added one um, Colorado, I mean, uh, Washington Nationals bat. You guys got plays. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I couldn't nail that one down, man. And I've been having some trouble with Washington Nationals lately. Uh, but. Uh, I want to say those lefties are in play for Washington Nationals. You can target those lefties versus Lambert. Uh, Miami Marlins at Tampa Bay Rays. I'm just, we got over under seven in this spot. Um, I'm looking at Tampa Bay in this one here. Money Night Parlays run last straight. Um, Kansas City Royals at um, Cleveland Guardians here. It's going to be Cleveland or nothing for me in this spot. Uh, the usual suspects as far as, uh, uh, Ramirez, his his runs on RBIs and things like that. They are in play. Uh, let me come over here. I was looking at Zach Eflin's outs for a parlay piece at seven at seventeen and a half. I was undecided on that one, so I didn't even pull the trigger there. Uh, I was thinking about just parlaying them, but I don't know. With all three of these, I was thinking about parlaying all three of these, uh, but I don't know. Uh, Gallon and uh, uh, um, Gallon and uh. Eflin and uh, Bradish there. I was thinking about that, but uh, let's slide over here to the batter props real quick. Uh, yeah, so uh, um, uh, let me go over here. Um, Kansas City Royals. I was just talking about the Kansas City Royals. So uh, Freddie Furman, I had some interest in him. I don't know if I'm going go in there, but I, I had some interest in him at one, one half hits, runs, and RBIs at minus 120. Um, one thing about uh, one thing about um, um, Williams, he will walk some batters. So, you know, I, I expect I expect uh, Kansas City Warriors to put up something. You know, with a nine and a half total, I expect them to put up something. So, uh, you know, those are some bats that you could look at right there. Um, uh, who was uh, Furman? Um, Jose Ramirez and Josh Naylor, okay? All three of those guys are in play. Uh, Bo Naylor just hit two home runs. His brother, you know, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every time I every time every time I get on here, uh my DraftKings freezes up on me, man. That's crazy, man. FanDuel still stands strong no matter what. Uh, uh Seattle Mariners at Minnesota Twins here. We got an over under eight and a half. Joe Ryan has really, really good K stuff. Uh you guys know what you can do with him. Uh, let's see. He has really, really good case stuff. Uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bryce Miller, he get, he gets a bump. I mean, his his K percentage is looking at uh twenty six, uh twenty three point four, sixteen percent to lefties, and then twenty nine percent to righties. Okay, so this Minnesota team they will run out a lot of lefties there. So let's see, one, two, they move Kepler up. Uh, so one, two, three. Four, five, six lefties are gonna roll out today. Uh, Kepler moved up, and I guess there's no um, curl off in the lineup today. So uh, they have that. Um, but this, 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 both of these teams have a high K rate. Uh, you can mix and match some Ks if you want. Uh, be my guest. And DraftKings still spinning and shit over here, man. That's crazy. Yeah. So. Uh, hmm. Let me throw these guys in there, um, in that player pool. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 guys. Let me get these in there because I cannot forget. Uh, Furman. That's the one I can't forget about because I'm thinking about 
sprinkling on him today. Okay. Um, the bats here for Minnesota, I just can't, I can't, I can't do it right now. Uh, the Mariners or Minnesota. Um, Cincinnati Reds at Milwaukee Brewers here. Um, I didn't have too much for this game here. It's probably going to just be a look over for me right now. Uh, Freddie, Freddie, Freddie um, Peralta has really, really good K stuff. Uh, did I, did I, did I take any of these bats down? Um, but I will say, uh, my guy, uh, Will Benson, you know, his ass is he's in play. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna bet on him today. You know what I'm saying? He's just been really, really good, man. You know, I remember when I first got up on him, you know, so, you know, if you really, really want to gamble, then, you know, that's somebody you can look at, though. But I don't have too much for this game here. Maybe some outs for Freddie Peralta, maybe some strikes for Freddie Freddie Peralta, but I don't have too much for this game. St. Louis Cardinals at, uh, damn, we do got an eight and a half for that game. But St. Louis Cardinals at Arizona Diamondbacks here. Uh, I want to lean towards, I, I lean towards Arizona Diamondbacks with Gallon on the mound. So uh, there we have that. I lean towards Arizona Diamondbacks with Gallon on the mound. Um, bats here, uh, Cattell Marte and, um, Cattell Marte and Corbin or Carroll, okay? Uh, Corbin Carroll, I think I'm going to have to probably put him ahead of Corbin of 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 Marte today. Um Flaherty pitches his worst to lefties. Uh let's see what we got here. Oh my, what was that? Am I still recording? Yeah, what the hell was that? Oh, it's doing it again. Mm. Alright, so uh I guess um but yeah um Corbin Carroll's got a 959 OPS versus righties. Uh, Jack Flaherty, 9870 OPS versus lefties. So that's a match for me. So I'm going to have to like Corbin Carroll. You know, I like Corbin Carroll a little bit more on the road. Small sample size for him at home versus uh, right-hand pitching. But I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to like him today. They could tell Marte he's just good at baseball. So those are the two bats that I'm looking at. I think those are the two guys that have to do the heavy lifting over here. Um Guys like Christian Walker, they supposed to be better, man. They've been doing, they, they've been, they've been, they've been, um, it's off and on, you know, wishy-washy. So, uh, hmm, what else was I going to look at here? Uh, Zach Gallon, I know his, his strikeout, his, 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 uh, his, his strikeout, um, potential go, his strike, his K rate goes up at home. So if even if you want to tease down some of his K's, I couldn't talk you off of that. His outs, uh, I like his outs no matter what it is. It's a parlay piece right now. So 17 and a half outs, I like that. Um, I'm going to have to like that, you know, if you want to use that as a parlay piece or whatever the case may be. Uh, he, oh, it's at 18 and a half right now over here. On FanDuel, on DraftKings, it's still sitting at a 17 and a half at a minus 170. So you can use that as a parlay piece. All right. So uh, let me see what we got here. Um, Corbin Carroll hits runs and RBIs. A, a parlay piece at minus 150. Uh, Perdomo and, you know, mm, he should be in play. Perdomo should be in play. Um, where is Paul Goldschmidt? Keep an eye out on him because he's getting hot. He's warming up, I want to say, uh, and then uh, Cattell Marte. They, right now, those guys are par, uh, play uh, are parlay pieces, but uh, I like I like I like Corbin Carroll today, man. I like Corbin Carroll today. Uh, hits all the way up to a home run, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Um, Pittsburgh Pirates and San Diego Padres. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna lean back off a side in this one. I'm not gonna give a side in this one here, but I will. Uh, Jackson Winsky. Um, I really want to take him for a home run. This is this is his home run spot. Uh, last game he played, I took him for a home run on the road uh, versus a righty. Um, Seth Lugo, not my fa- one of my favorite pitchers. Um, I think he's got a few home runs, set, and and the few home runs that he does have, I think he's given up probably like nine home runs, and I think seven of them come to lefties. So uh, don't quote me on that. You know what I'm saying? But the numbers are somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, Jackson Winsky, he's probably got like 21 home runs. I think four, 14 of them come from righties, I want to say. I think 11 of them are on the road versus righties. Uh, I'm going to take – it's not an official play. It's a personal play. I'm taking the one and a half, and I'm taking him for a home run. He's a home run candidate for me today. All right? Put, put that motherfucker in the Raptors, all right? Uh, 
next bat is just going to have to be Soto. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, where is he? Soto might not be in the lineup today. Hmm. Unless I just, unless he's right there and I just can't see him. Juan Soto. Either way it goes, Juan Soto's in play versus a righty. In the end, you know, uh, he's, uh, um, of course, Machado, like he's been on in Fuego. All right, so uh, Toronto Blue Jays and Los Angeles Dodgers here. I'm not, not a fan of neither one of these pitchers on the mound here, but. Uh, I'm I'm only looking at Dodgers bats here. Uh, you know, you got Gonsolin on the mound. I wanted to try. We got an over under ten in the spot. I wanted to try to get to Gonsolin's outs. I wanted to try to get to Gonsolin's outs. I still got time to, you know, meditate on it. Uh, but I'm looking at these Dodgers bats, man. I, I, they just can't be denied. You know what I'm saying? They they show up day in and day out. Uh, top bat for me on in this game is going to be Freddie Freeman. Uh, you know, a thousand OPS versus left hand p- uh, pitching there. Um, Mookie Betts, a um, thousand OPS versus left hand pitching there. Um, you know, it is what it is. And then, um, you know, Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith. It, the numbers are there for him versus left hand pitching, so I just got to like them, man. Those are my fir- my favorite three bats there. Um, J.D. Martinez, he's just clutch. Shout out to the Dodgers coming back winning that game last night. <laughs> Didn't really look at the uh, Toronto Blue Jays' bats and look and see, you know, who I liked over there. I just wanted to get this out. Uh, if I'm betting this game, it's probably uh, the Dodgers are nothing for me in this spot, but uh, I'm, I might just fall back off of that, off of them. You know, uh, I, I like the way they – you know, they came back and won that game last night. I think I'll just settle with that right there. Um, Baltimore Orioles at Philadelphia Phillies here. Um, wait a minute. Let me see what the numbers are for these hit runs and RBIs and things of that nature. Um, so right now, uh, you can get uh, two and a half for Mookie Betts, one and a half for Will Smith, and you can get uh, one and a half for Freddie Freeman at a parlay piece. I got to throw that up there right now. Uh, Parlay that, parlay that with something. Uh, Mookie Betts going, you know, Mookie Betts. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna take it. Will Smith, I might not parlay it up. Will Smith is a home run candidate. Um, he's a home run candidate. Everybody, you know, y'all know the drill. I don't have to keep telling y'all about these guys. A uh, lot. Um, Baltimore Orioles at Philadelphia Phillies over under nine and a half in the spot. You get a minus rise of right now. You get a minus one hundred four for Philly. Uh, I mean for Baltimore on the road. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take Baltimore Orioles, man. With Bradish on the mound, um, I want to take a look and see what these player performance doubles is. If we could slide in there, if I want to be greedy, um, I might be able to get a low K number or something like that. Maybe a five and a win. Let's see. Oops. Five and a win for Kyle Bradish at plus one sixty five. That's being greedy for me, but I do like them to win the game. Uh, outs recorded. I like the outs for him at sixteen and a half. I got to take a stab at it. Uh, you know, it's not an official play, but I got to take a stab at it on DraftKings. You'll get the better number though at plus one hundred for sixteen and a half uh, outs. Let's see. Oh, I thought I had it over here in my player pool. Freddie Freeman, Zach Allen, Zach, Josh Nett, Jose Ramirez, Paul Goldsmith. Mm, let me see. I think you get the better number for the outs over here on DraftKings. Sixteen and a half at plus one hundred. There you go. 16 and a half for plus 100. All right. So, uh, like, Philly, they just, like, uh, hmm, enter it. Let me see. Hmm. 
Cal Bradish. His K, pro, I mean, uh, he's got a higher K percentage to lefties at 25.6 and 21.3 to righties. Um, I might just fall back and just take the outs, but uh, um, K percentage 23% overall. Um, barrel percentage down, a little bit up versus righties, but down. Um, Philly, uh, Philly versus right-hand pitching. Like, um, uh, what do we got here? Uh, versus right-hand pitching. Um, let's, let me update. Uh, last 30 days, um, WRC plus, they are. They're right in front of my face, but I can't see it. 27th, way down there, 27th. What about lately, though? Because that's what I need lately. Well, well, we go through this every day anyway. 29th, last, at 69, last last two weeks. So they got to be that. Well, they might moved up a little bit the last seven days. Uh, last seven days. Uh, last, dead last at 35. So, I don't know, man. Maybe the books think they're gonna pop out. I don't. I don't know. Maybe the th- books think they're gonna pop out. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Sixteen and a half outs. Not a real possibility for for somebody like Kyle Bradish. I want to say. Uh, let's let's. I ain't even gonna take a look. Uh, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it on DraftKings. All right, give me the sixteen and a half outs. Give me uh Kyle Bradish. I mean, uh, I ain't gonna take the K's. Uh, even though I want to take the K's. Uh, it might be one of those games, man. And give me the money line. And the bats. Oh, we ain't going to talk about the bats. So, uh, Suarez. I just came back Suarez right now. He's a lefty. So, you know what that means. Uh, Mountcastle. All right. Last time we went to Mountcastle, he hit the bomb. All right. So, give me the hits runs and I'll be asked for uh, Mountcastle. All right. Now, however, um, I like him for a home run. But, man, I'm, it's like we, we um, last two games, I'm two for two. Went to Mount, Mount Castle for the home run. Bam, he got there, right? Then um come back to come back to Ryan O'Hearn last game. Boom, he smacked one, right? So, you know, I you know, I, I would like to think today is San Anthony Santander's day. You know what I'm saying? Because he got, you know, he's in play today. All right. However, all bullshit aside, for the home to home run side, if I'm ranking these guys, and if 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 uh O'Hearn's in the lineup, I'm looking at how oh, then you got Gunnar Henderson. Like, come on, man, throw all the motherfuckers in the lineup, throw them all in there. Now, I'm ranking these guys. Nah, shit, I don't know. Uh. Damn, Mount Castle number one. No, O'Hearn, Mount Castle, Donna Henderson, and Santander are uh, three. It's tie three right there for home runs. They they in tie for three. All right, but uh, Santander is due. All right, so I think they beat up on these guys. I could be wrong. Hey, take what you like, but. Um, Mount Castle, uh, I get over one and a half hits runs in RBIs. I like that. Uh, Gunnar Henderson, I'm gonna have to like that. Um, and Santana, I'm gonna have to like that. And O'Hearn, if he's in the lineup, I'm gonna have to like that. They're gonna have to figure this lineup out. All right, I'm not even messing with none of the none of those, none of those, um, Philadelphia bats. I don't want them, I don't want to see them. Maybe Castellanos, but I don't want to see them. Um, Schwab is always a home run candidate. I was so undecided this Detroit game here. I mean, you know, you got your old tiny out there. Uh, shout out to everybody betting the walks and stuff like that for old tiny and all that shit. That's good, or whatever the case may be. But I'm so undecided in that game for everything. New York Mets and New York Yankees. Um, you got uh, you got a uh, Quintana on the mound now. I will give the Yankees the benefit of the doubt. They do hit these lefties. They have been hitting these lefties last thirty days, but. The last two weeks, and whatever the case may be, they haven't even faced the lefty. Maybe some closers or something like that. So, um, you know, they could be they could be uh 
They could be rusty, but I'm gonna tell you this here: if when all else fails, it smells like a sign. Uh, you know, if I'm taking somebody a home run at home, it's gonna be Stanton. So it's gonna be Stanton or nothing. I'm here, all right? Stanton, Bader, those guys. Uh, um, what's the other kid name? He's been he's been one of the most consistent back, no matter what, man. Let me get you guys this guy, man. Uh, I I, I have trouble with these guys' names off the back. Uh. Libra Torres has been consistent, okay? His hits runs in RBIs. His hits, at least a hit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but a home run, a hits for uh, Bader, hits for uh, for uh, Libra Torres, home run for Stanton. That's a home run. He's a home run candidate for me. Uh, Strider on the mound, Bayo on the mound. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all know what y'all know who these people are. Y'all know what to do. I know what to do. We got over under ten. Y'all know what to do. One thing I'll say here, um, Strider. All right, let's see what we got here. I would take uh one of my go to plays. Y'all know he gonna do it. Y'all know he gonna do it. Y'all know what he gonna do. Y'all know what he gonna do. You know he gonna give up two runs, man. Um, y'all know he gonna give up two runs. Uh, let's see, let's see. Earn runs. It, it's been working for me. The parlay pieces has been working. Oh, it's at two and a half now. Ah ha ha ha. It's at two and a half now. I have to go do some do some scoping out for that. But uh, of course, his strikeouts are in play. Y'all know what to do. Y'all know who he is. Uh, if you want a live bet strikeouts and stuff like that, be my guest. You can do that too. Uh, this out in the seventeen and a half. What about a strikeout? 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 Strikeouts? Mm, 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 mm. Eight and a half. Wow. I don't have a side in this one here. Texas Rangers at Houston Astros. Uh, I don't like this spot for Haney. He's on the road. Eight and a half over, over under. Uh, lefty lefty matchup. So you know what the deal is. Kyle Tucker hits runs and RBIs all the way up to a home run. Um, McCormick uh, hits runs and RBIs all the way to a home run. Um, guys like uh. Well, uh, Tucker's a thousand OPS to righties to lefties there. He's got a home run off of him. Only hit he has off of him. One for seven, he's a home run. Uh, Chaz McCormick, uh, 1,000 OPS versus lefties. Uh, this team hits lefties. Well, Ho- Jose Abreu, uh, he's five for 15 versus him with four, with, with a double and four home runs. Uh, Jeremy Pena, um, 805 OPS versus lefties. Um, yes. So, and then you couple that with the fact that you got Valdez on the mound. Now, don't get it twisted. Um, you know, uh, Ezekiel Duran is going to be a guy that's going to be in play. He has a home run versus uh, Valdez. I wouldn't be surprised if he smacks him up one time. Uh, you know, Josh Jung and, you know, uh, you know they got some guys over here. So, over on, it might hit the over here. Never know. I don't know, but uh, I probably I'm 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 tell you right this. If I'm taking the side, it's gonna be Houston Astros or nothing for me. Okay, uh, so let's get through that. Uh, last, well, uh, Chicago Cubs at uh at, at White Sox. Here we got an over under uh, nine in this spot. And yes, um, Strowman on the mound, Lynn on the mound, and uh, y'all know the deal with Lynn. Um, he's giving it up to lefties, man. Um, it's, it's, it's plain and simple. Now watch the lineup. See who comes in the lineup. Uh, see who's coming in the lineup. Um, what do you got? Uh, lefties. Uh, he's get, he's got 28 home runs overall, 18 of them to the lefties there. Um, a batting average to lefties at 338, uh, op, uh, um, uh, um, uh, on base percentage, 653 slugging. All right. Uh, at home, um, on away, he his batting average is uh, worse on the road. Um, away versus lefties, uh, batting average three fifty two, uh, four twenty one slugging around same things. I, I mean, uh, OB, OBP and around same thing about six eighty slugging right there. All right, so he's 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 getting his ass tore up. All right, home runs per nine versus lefties three point two eight. That's terrible. Uh, K percentage has been kind. It's kind of good though. I mean, you know, he he will strike your ass out, especially right. He will strike you out. Um, case K percent. He will get his case. They will leave him out there, but he will give up bombs. You know what I'm saying? Three point two home runs per nine on the road versus lefties. Like yeah. So keep an eye out to see who's going to be in that lineup. Um, you know who's a lefty? 
you know who's a lefty, man. Bellinger's a lefty, okay? Toshman might be leading off. He gets a bump because he's a lefty. Um, Hap might switch it around and be batting from the left side. He gets a bump because he's a lefty, all right? And whoever else is out there that's a left-hand batter, they get a bump there, all right? Um, So, uh, you know, and then the kid the kid needs to turn it around. Um, uh, um, Strowman needs to turn around. We got an over on the nine in this spot. Uh, Subway Series, Chicago Cubs versus White Sox. Um, somebody might get stole on in this one here. I don't have nothing for this Oakland Athletics game right now. With that being said, guys, peace out. All right, peace.